Okay, question two. We have probability. So, a factory buys 10% of its components from supplier A, 30% from supplier B, and the rest from supplier C. It is known that uh, 6% of the components it buys are faulty. Of the components bought from supplier A, and nine percent are faulty, and of the components bought from supplier B, three percent are faulty. Part A wants us to find the probability. Sorry, find the percentage uh, of components bought from supplier C that are faulty. So that is well. First up. Let's define everything as probabilities. So, for part A, the probability of A is 10%, so 0 0.1. Probability of B is 0 0.3. And, drop my pen, the probability of C is then going to have to be 0 0.6. Now, we're told the probability or the percentage of faulty components overall is 6%. So we can also say the probability of faulty is 0 0.6. 0, 6. Now then, what else do we know? We know that uh, the percentage of components bought from supplier A that are faulty is 9%. So, we can think of that as the probability of faulty given A. So, the probability of faulty given a is um, zero point zero nine and the probability of faulty given b it's 3%, so that's 0 0.03. Okay, so let's now think about, again, what it is we're trying to find. So we want to find the percentage of components bought from supplier C that are faulty. So what we want... So we want... the probability of faulty given C. Now, what we need then is the formula involving given probabilities. Now, annoyingly, we're not given these in the AS part of the formula booklet, but we are in the A-level part, so you are given it, it's just hiding. So this is all the probability stuff, that you get in the A-level section of the booklet. So the guy that we want is the probability of A into section B is the probability of A times the probability of B given A. So, what we can do is we can say that the probability of faulty uh, given C is the probability of faulty and C or C and faulty either way around over uh, the probability of C. Now at the moment, the only thing out of that lot that we know is the probability of C. 
What else do we know? Well, we know that the total percentage of faulty components is 6%. So that's 0.06. So that means that the probability of faulty intersection A and the probability of faulty intersection B and the probability of faulty given sorry intersection C we know that that is equal to 0 0.06 so applying this formula to the two things up above we can work out the values of the intersection. So the probability of faulty given A is 0 0.09. That tells us then that 0 0.09 is equal to the intersection, uh, so faulty and A over probability of A, which is 0.1. So if we multiply through by 0.1, we get the probability of faulty and A is equal to 0 0.009. Okay, so let's put that down here. So we've got 0 0.009. Now let's do the same for the B intersection. So this then tells us that 0 0.03 is equal to the probability of faulty and from B over probability of B, which is 30%, 0 0.3. So that tells us the intersection of 40 and B is also 0 0.009. So, we know now Two of these three things. So 0 0.009 and 0 0.009 add the probability of 40 and C is 0 0.06. Now if we add those two together we get 0, 0.0. 1, 8, and the intersection is equal to 0 0.06. Take away the 0 0.018 probability of F intersection C is equal to 0 0.04 uh, 2 Now we're almost there, thank god, it's only 3 marks So now we know them that the probability of faulty given C is uh, 0 0.04 Zero four two over probability of C zero point six. Now this gives us zero point zero seven, which they want as a percentage is seven percent. Go. Cool. Okay, then for part B, a component is chosen at random. We want to explain why. In the event the component was bought from supplier B is not uh, statistically 
independent from the event, the component is 30 for one mark. So for that, I think we could say something along the lines of there are 40 and not 40 components from B so the probability So the probability of a component being faulty uh, will uh, change depending on whether It is from supply and B or not. So it is a dependent probability because probabilities change depending on where the component comes from. Cool.